Hey everybody, welcome to Townless Fluid Art. How you doing? Uh, I just wanted to do a quickie before I closed up my paints. I did a couple paintings this morning. Oh my God, they came out gorgeous. So I figured I want to do another big one because it came out so good. So let's drop my paint now. This is the base coat, which is my Glidden interior. The paint is mixed with a kiss of paint. You know, like what a chocolate kiss looks like. You make that in the, in the uh, cup. Then you cover it with um, enough uh, Floetrol to cover the kiss. And then you put a dollop of Valspar in there. And then about a half a teaspoon of, um, hold on, let me get that over there. Half a teaspoon uh, what you call it? Um, min wax, min wax, in the red container. So, all right. Let me just spread this around here. It's going to spread anyway, but I just want to make sure it, it glides very easily. It's sometimes doesn't glide that well when you have not, no paint there. So, best bet is to just get some around everywhere. I already have some here, so just do a little bit. Alrighty. First things I'm going to do is put down my red. This is Amsterdam red. This is Carmine. And everything's mixed exactly the same way. Okay, and I'm going to do my yellow next because the red and yellow make orange. So there should be some beautiful orange colors coming through here. And then I'm going to use light blue. Now light blue and yellow will make green, so I'll have some nice green colors. Because I'm going to do a couple things of blue. I'm going to have phthalo blue next. It's a quickie because I got Baron C. Gold I have on right now and uh, it's one of my favorite shows. Actually I've been really addicted to YouTube especially um, these abandoned homes. Oh if you haven't had a chance to check out the abandoned homes you must check it out. Okay, my accelerator, it's just <clears throat> Amsterdam Black Oxide. Alrighty. <sighs> Fix my bra, it's driving me crazy. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> my straw was used earlier, haven't cleaned it yet. I did clean my cups that I used from, um, that I had. The paint was so old, it didn't even give me any kind of cells. It was like over a week and a half old, so. It can last quite a lot, quite a few months, but it doesn't last forever when you have the, the mixture together. But this paint's been sitting here for, my goodness, it has to be at least Oh, a week and a half, something like that. But I had to add a little more min wax today and some Floetrol on top. All right, so let's blow this away, shall we? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. If you follow through in the blowing, you'll get enough of the cells. So I hate when I do that. Blow too hard, you will get that. Alrighty. I can't move yet because I want to be able to have it mix and spread continually. This could almost look like a little ribbon. 
How cool is that? Well, look at those sales. My recipe is guaranteed sales all the time. Unless you're sitting here for like, you know, weeks and a half at a time. Mm. Let me see. Not ready to spread yet. It'll get there though. What I do though want to do is move these out of the way and move this here so I can capture some of the paint. Nothing's worse than having all this paint go on your table, which by the way, it does do that a lot, but that's why I have the chucks down. And, uh, alrighty, spin this around a little bit. A lot of people do a Shelly art, which by the way is different from this because it's not the same ingredients. I took Shelly's course and uh, you know, it's not the same. All right, I gotta go spread something down here. And here, so much paint falls off because there is a lot of paint on here. That's why I save it in my container here because you know what? You can then take these little jewelry pieces and you can dip it. All right. Let me go back over here. Gonna be just a little bit more and then I'm gonna have to leave it alone because I'm gonna have to let it dry. And uh, a little bit more that way. Once it stops moving, you know you're done. I'm going to stand up those, so maybe I can get some going this way. Oh, this is so pretty. Alrighty, now I'm going to put it over here to dry. And let me take my gloves off and I'll show you. This is all before I close up shop for the evening. Of course, I could do another sugar one. Yeah, maybe I will. Let me see. As long as I set it someplace to dry it. That's what I'll do. I'll do a sugar plate. Let me just get gloves on again. And I'm going to do this one a little bit different because I want it to... Let me see if I can move this without touching paint. Okay, let me put these down here. got to get stuck together so quick and easy. It's crazy. All right, let me put my hands here and my glove. And I'll show you what it looks like. It's a sugar plate made from sugar. And it's, it's crazy how great these come out. This is it. Now tell me that isn't absolutely cool. Did I just fall in the paint? No. Oh, I thought I had more than two cups there, but I don't. So, let me get my gloves back on. And sit right down. Oh, sit right down and write myself a letter. I do want to move this out of the way because knowing me, I'll end up sticking my boobs in it. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going to first put paint on the whole thing. And I, I need to let, let it drop off the whole, the whole entire mess. So, 
What I might just do is start here. And go this way. All right. And just knock some of it off. What I'm doing, you'll see in a second here. Uh, I'm just running all the paint off. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second here. Got to get that one corner. And this side. Should have brought it closer to you so you can see. But um just gotta get throwing down. Yeah, let me help it along. I may have to do a little bit more on the side there because it didn't it didn't flow off as well it, it flew off the, the plate, but I'm just going to leave it on this side here. Ooh. Yep, sound effects. <laughs> I just hit it too. Okay. I'm going to go this way and get it down. And you have to twirl it and get it around where it's nice and even. I haven't tried it like this before. Usually I had my paint on it and I was doing some kind of thing. But I figured out how to do my flower in the middle without having to worry about the edges or anything else. So let's see what this looks like. Alrighty. Not really even, is it? Let me get something to put on. <sighs> Let's see what I got over here. You never throw away anything. This is a toilet paper roll. It's a big toilet paper roll. Perfect for holding it. Okay, now, let's do another flower. Let's see where we're at. I'm just gonna pour it this time. A lot of red. And now yellow. Baby blue. And my phyllo blue. Okay, and my black. Let me get one of these. I wasn't really wipe my hands here. I could have just washed them up for a new new gloves, but I didn't, so. Alright. Kidoki. Let it sit a bit. Kind of messy, isn't it? 
it's messy when you don't want to have to constantly change something all the time. You know? All right, let's go. So let a, the majority of the paint fall off. Therefore, it's not going to spread out so much. Always get one. What I may do is put a little blue and yellow. Make it look more like a leaf going that way. Oh, I put my black. I totally forgot, guys. Put the yellow again. My black again. Let me just go like this. This is cool. I love and I'm loving this. This is definitely cool. I'll try going this way now. Get some of that the paint down here up here. Oh, this is really cool. Love it. Gotta experiment with this stuff, you know? That's all that you have to do. Now, I really don't like that one corner here. Well, I might as well have some of it go there. I'm not sure if it will. Oh, this is what's gonna do now. This thing, this paint, this plate is so weird. It's so, I mean, really, it just 
flows. The paint just flows right over. It's great. Oh, man. Can you see what I'm doing? I don't think you can. Hold on. Move this out of the way. Move this back over here. That wasn't very good. Get this other point here. Okay. At the corner. See, and I like I like the white around the edge. I really do. I'm gonna do over here a little bit. Yeah, I gotta have this like really cool looking. Now granted, I took off almost all the paint before this starts sliding, so you know how quick it is to slide. All right, let's do a little more on this side. Not much left to slide, so this is gonna be very difficult to do. But we shall see. You can make different designs without actually making a different design, you know? It's like it automatically will make the design that, that, that it likes. Huh. I like this. I like it a lot. Kind of reminds me of a shell. It's really cool. Over here, try. Now look at the colors in here. Isn't that cool? You know, let me change gloves. I think we need to do another one, you know? It's so de addicting, especially with the sugar plates, because it's just, it's just addicting. I can't describe it. it. Just really is. This is how my desk gets a mess. My desk gets a mess. That's right, sure enough does. Put this over here. I have a hundred of these things. These are sugar plates. You can actually, you know, use them for lunches, for ants, for appetizers, just about anything. And with the acrylic paint on it, they come out so good. Like this one here. I did this one yesterday. Isn't that cool? You know, it's so it's like leather. And here's another one. And this actually I did these I think this morning, come to think of it. They dry that quick. The sugar plates. But I'm thinking oh, my husband just sneezed. Bless you, honey. Last couple days, I had lost the hearing in my right ear. I had it happen. Um, oh, when did I have it happen? After the flu shot one time, and after a um, shingle shot. Except the shingle shot, when I lost my hearing, it was like four and a half days, and that was scary. But. The other day I had an itch in my ear and I used a Q-tip and I couldn't hear on Wednesday. So Wednesday night I took an allergy pill and I was fine Thursday. And then yesterday morning went back to being yucky. And then uh, lo and behold, today forget it, it's horrible. 
I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to go around here at the edges. You know, you waste so much paint, but you know what? It's the only way to get things done. It's like when I used to do floral, um, floral pieces. I found it's not really that hard to, to do um, a vase with flowers. And I'll let you see how quick it goes. See it? It goes extremely fast. As long as you have everything in your closet that, that's required to make a flower arrangement. It takes two seconds and if you can count to three, everything's an odd. Okay, I think I got everything covered here. Huh? Nope, over here. Just gotta get the dirt dripping down here. all the way. Okay. Now back to my little roundy thing. And go like this. Alright. And once again I'm a mess. Just nailed myself here. All right, red again. Then my yellow. I'm gonna do the dark blue now, the phthalo blue. And now, light blue. Okay. Just got my arm. I got my elbow. <laughs> oh, sometimes I have to take shower after doing all this. No, not really. Just kidding. But almost. Alrighty. Set a bit. Get more messy. All right, let me just let me get my hands here, yeah, especially my watch. God, I'm always getting it on this watch. All I can say is, thank God it's waterproof. And so far, it's pretty pain-proof, pain too. I have to scrape the rest off. Okay. All right, let's blow it. Let's blow it in the wind, shall we? when I do that. Always fun. I'm gonna throw some more paint on that because it's bugging me. I don't want it to. No, oh, this is gonna be rough, but I'm gonna try it.
much better. I lose my flower every time. It's really getting annoying. Looks like a flower that's really opened up there and I'm gonna leave it like that. If I can get it all the way down a little bit. Give it a, some of the color, because you're losing a lot of paint. Uh, it's almost done dripping. I hope it stays. Cool. Alrighty, this one is another done one. This is beautiful. My goodness, look at how cool. This looks just like a, a plant that's opened up. So it's another kind of flower. Alrighty, now what do I do with this? Alrighty, that is gorgeous, beautiful. All right, let me take it down, let me show you, okay? This is the big one, and it is beautiful. When it gets in a better area where I could make it um, more lighting, I could try my blue light. Hold on a second, guys. Hold on a second. I have here a beautiful light. Now you can see it. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, you can see every single cell all the way. These beautiful bubbles of mine. I love doing the bubbles. Okay, then this one back here. It's number two. And look at number three. Tell me this isn't gorgeous. I'm dripping too. I gotta catch my drip. Well, once these are all dried, I will put them up and within the video, they dry probably in about an hour. And then I'll take pictures and then load them up and uh, put this light back over here. Of all kinds of paintings, of all kinds of items like that, but these 
These are my favorite. I just love doing bubbles. Got big ones over here, huge ones there. You know, I love it. All right, guys, take it easy. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like it. Please subscribe. And if you know anybody that wants to subscribe, please tell them. All right, bye.